no one knows the pain of what it's like to miss milestones with your children. And milestones meaning like like what today's event was for me and my kids, but they didn't they missed it. Um just proper milestones, you know, and when somebody is trying their best to keep your children away from you because they're holding a grudge, that is not right. Let it go. It doesn't matter who caused what to happen in a marriage. It doesn't matter if somebody just said, I'm done marrying you, I'm done being, you know, it doesn't matter. If you're divorced, if you're divorced, it's you and it's you. Dad and mom, or mom and mom, or dad and dad, it doesn't matter. Now you have to take care of three, or you have to take care of, you know, like, there's, when you separate, or when you divorce, or when you break up, and you have children, whatever happened to you in y'all's marriage, relationship, whatever the hell it was, it's gone. Poof, it's away. Now you have children to think about. You have children to raise. Think, put all the pettiness away and put those children in front of you. These kids are going to grow up only remembering mom and dad or dad and dad or mom and mom or whoever y'all got this laid out is arguing or I couldn't see this person on this day. I couldn't see that person on that day. That can mess up a child's mental psyche. Do you understand that? It doesn't matter if you hate the other parent. It does not matter. Put it aside. I will never understand this. And this is another reason why after I get done with my college now with surgical tech, I'm going back to school to get my degree in paralegal, aka law. Not a lawyer, because that's more that's more studying and more money to pay for tuition, but paralegal. I want to be able to help moms and help dads deal with this stuff like this like y'all i'm not making these videos to seem petty i'm making these videos to show y'all what the hell i'm going through and to show y'all what other people are going through they're too scared to say anything and i'm not i have been going through this since 2019 y'all two and a half years y'all just please continue to pray for my kids you know like they've missed i went to meet the teachers today and they missed so much. They missed the pep rally. They missed meeting the mascots. They they missed the cookie decorations. They missed do what you do in your life. But remember, you have children or a child involved. There is more more than likely another parent involved to help raise that child. And I'm that parent. I'm a non-custodial mom, but there's times where People try to push me out of my children's lives and I will fight to the death of me to be in my children's lives. And when I mean to the death of me, I mean to the death of me. Some of y'all don't know me and some of y'all do know me. And so if y'all know me, y'all understand how hot-headed that I am. Y'all, I mean, I've had people literally come to my house to keep me in my fucking house. They were just like, stay in the house. We'll watch Netflix. I'll go get popcorn. I'll go go pick up uh, your cotton candy, Dairy Queen, Blizzard. Like, just stay in the house. Like, I don't want you to go get in trouble. You know, you're going to be caught on candy camera. Like, leave it alone. I will go from here to Asia to across the country for my fucking kids. You are a step-parent. Or somebody that considers herself a step parent as helping raise a child and you're causing controversy, shame on you. Shame on you. Shame on you. Shame on you. This is another reason why so many parents don't like when step parents get involved because this shit right here. There's too much stuff going on. There's too much stuff going on. Now, I appreciate it if you are a step parent. Or trying to become one and you're in the kid's life and you're trying to do the best thing for the child. Thank you. I appreciate you. You know, I have a stepmom and I love this woman. Like my mom and her, they get along with each other. You know, and I consider her to be my mom as well as my other mom. But my stepmom doesn't cause any bullshit with the biological mom, which is my biological mother. She don't start anything. She doesn't stalk my mom on Facebook. She don't stalk my mom on TikTok. She don't stalk my mom on Pinterest. She don't stalk her nowhere.
my kids don't deserve this, y'all. And I'm trying not to cry because, I mean, today's going to be a good day for me. I'm just trying. I don't understand people. I don't. You know, it doesn't matter if somebody got caught texting another man, another woman in a marriage. It doesn't matter if somebody got caught doing this, got caught doing that, or that y'all just completely decided to just say, hey, I'm done. Let's go ahead and get divorced. Let's go ahead and break up or whatever. But we have kids to raise. We have a kid to raise. Some people don't want to sit back and think. Some people don't look. People look at harming the other parent. People don't look at, okay, if I'm arguing with her, if I'm arguing with him, it's going to hurt my kid. My kid's watching this. People don't care. Or they don't know. They don't know. I know what's going on. I know my kids. When my kids start biting their, doing this, biting their nails, or don't look at you when the other parent's around, or they, or they start acting out, I know my kids.